Can you please um, define media reform in your words? Media reform is to work our way towards media that's of, by, and for the American people. Media that is local rather than all of these huge conglomerates we have now that have gobbled up so many local and independent stations. Media that has some public interest obligations and guidelines, which it had for years and years, but a lot of that has been deregulated away so that they really are covering local affairs, they are covering minority uh, uh, and diversity communities, and they are doing their job of informing the American people. I'd say that media reform is about making broader progressive reforms possible so that to get the change that we need in, in other areas, be it you know, the economy, be it healthcare, be it education, we need a fair hearing. And so we need to make sure we have a media that allows us to get a real fair hearing so that we can address the issues we need to. So why is media necessary for you? Media is all about uh, informing the electorate. And so if we want a thriving, functioning democracy, if we want uh, true self-governance, we need a fourth estate that holds the power accountable, helps voters make their decisions. Media is how we communicate with one another. Other right. than just talking to uh, uh, each other or our families, it's where we conduct our civic dialogue. It's where we discuss issues that are important to the future of the country. It's kind of our town square of democracy. So then why is media reform necessary for your life? Because media has been allowed to go astray. Uh, through bad decisions in both the private and the public sector. The private sector bad decision was to encourage the tsunami of consolidation with a few big media companies gobbling up smaller, independent, local, and diverse uh, uh, companies. Uh, and also, uh, we have to emphasize the role of the federal government in all of this because its lack of oversight, its lack of protecting the public interest, encouraged that kind of consolidation and uh, encourage us not paying enough attention to the future of our media and how our broadcast operations and other media are operated and what are they doing to serve the public interest. How do you work on media reform in your life? You work on media reform by carrying forward as an individual. It starts right here at places like the Media Reform Conference with people from all over the country coming in and taking that message back home and emphasizing the importance of media reform. I don't care what the issue is that's most important to you in your life as an individual or anybody here, and there are lots of important issues. None of them are going to get resolved until the American people know about them through investigative journalism, through accountability journalism, through facts instead of opinion, through talking rationally about it rather than shouting opinions at one another.